Hey guys, Clay here from Ham Shack Down. Hey, I forgot my selfie stick and my tripod, so I'm going to have to kind of wing this one. Uh, but I just brought a few things with me today, and uh, I thought this would be a cool place to kind of shoot a video. Uh, I'm out in the kettles here today, and uh, it looks like they were doing some logging, and uh, they got this huge pile of wood uh, set up here. So I am going to, let's see here, I'm going to throw my stick in here. Hook my backpack up to it and uh, get some stuff out. There's a nice little spot here I'm going to use for a seat and throw some of my gear up and uh, set up a little mobile operations here. antenna hooked up. Got access to our mini den. All right guys so I have the 8800 along with me today and uh, I'm just running this Ed Fong antenna like 10 feet away from me on 20, 20 watts. It's not very high but it's gonna have to work for today. We're just gonna have to kind of work with what we have. So I just sent out KC9 TMU testing. All right, so that was a local repeater we made in Sheboygan. So if we can hit Sheboygan, then we can hit my iGate and DigiPeter. So I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to switch channels here over to the APRS frequency 144.390. And uh, I have my DigiRig cable getting ready to hook up my tablet. So let's get that hooked up. So let's get that fired up. That's going to take a second. I'll log in and then uh, I'll come back to it. But we got everything set up where we need. I really like these dual band radios because I can send out APRS frequencies and packets on one side of the band or one side of the radio. And then on this side here, I can transition over to this and I can still do voice on that. Um, I'm probably going to, right now, I think this side is. VHF and this is UHF. So I think I'm going to change that function where it's UHF and VHF on both sides so that I have options to run two meter on this side as well. So that's one uh, thing that I need to reprogram. But um, let's see here. Got the GTAC tablet coming up here. I'm still using the same ham password that the tech prepper used. I really like that. It's easy. I don't have to deal with any numbers. And uh, what we're going to do is fire up Dire Wolf out of the gate, get that set up, and we're going to switch over to 144. Let's turn the... And see what we can get up here on the GTAC tablet. So, AB9FT-1 is a Sheboygan repeater and so we got some more stuff coming in here I'm gonna try and fix this glare here a little bit um, Y1 KA9 BAB-7 that's in Chilton so we should be able to tap into KC9 TMU-1 which is the eye gate but it looks like we're actually getting I gated material here and did you Peter yeah quite a bit of stuff here coming in that's great so I am going to try a different couple modes here I am going to minimize that open up yak and my whole part uh, reason behind let me just switch the camera around for a second So my whole reasoning behind running Direwolf and Yak is uh, I like the fact that, you know, off-grid scenarios, you can still run a DigiPeter. 
and not necessarily the eye gate. I don't have the eye gate function on this tablet. All, all I'm using it for is the uh, DigiPeter. And that's gonna give me the ability to run Yak in coordination with that and uh, be able to send out messages, whether it's a WX bot or to another call station uh, or what was the other option? I can do email over this uh, through WinLink. I tried that earlier today and it asked me for my password. I put the correct password in it, but it didn't uh, acknowledge it for some reason. So I'm gonna have to mess around with that, but I'm gonna kind of bring you in here. I'm gonna switch the camera around again one more time. So on screen here, you'll see in the center of that circle, that's KC9TMU-9, which is uh, Yak. And the DigiPeter is KC9TMU-2. So as long as I'm showing up there, dash nine, <clears throat> which would be my beacon on uh, Yak, I can actually go up here and send out a beacon. And if we go back over to Direwolf, and that should show up as KC9 TMU-2. Or, excuse me, KC9 TMU-9. And it's getting picked up by KC9 TMU-2, which is the DigiPeter here on the tablet. And that's, it's getting beaconed out. So I can do, I got a wide range, a huge network of DigiPeters in uh, southeast Wisconsin here. And this screen is just going to keep getting loaded up and loaded up. Uh, that white ring, as you pick up on stations, is just going to keep expanding. And right now, uh, I don't have any maps on here, but this radius that's showing up on the screen is roughly 20, 30, 30, 40 miles, uh, is my guess, just looking at some of these different... Uh, eye gates and digi peters that i'm already familiar with so uh, we can hit a pretty good range of getting packets sent out through aprs and one of the other things that i wanted to uh try uh was i signed up for that sms uh, gte service and i put a couple of uh, friends phone numbers in there and uh, set up some aliases for them, and I'll be testing out that uh, in the near future, along with uh, getting uh, the messaging system uh, sorted out in Yak. It's not extremely user-friendly. Um, sometimes I, I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. So there's in Yak, uh, when you, you can either chat with a station or you can send a message to a station, uh, and you can also do email. Um, when you do the... Uh, message a station uh, it will show up in your outgoing box and it'll kind of sit there for a while so i need to kind of experiment with that uh, with another uh, person uh, when i have this up and running but today i'm just out here just kind of testing th some things i brought the vx6r with the uh, mobile link unit and then i also brought the ft5d uh, out here as well to kind of test some aprs stuff so I'm going to keep monkeying around with this for a little bit. I'll let you know what I come up with, and uh, we'll keep going. I'm going to see what I can do here to try and... We're going to send a message to a station. And I'm going to put... W... X... Bot... And then I'm going to put the zip code five. And if I switch over to Dire Wolf, you'll be able to see that down at the bottom there. It just went out to WX Bot from KC9 TMU 9, which is my beacon set up for the Yak application. So we'll see what we get back here. And it should show up in messages here. Let me go to view file. Here's the message list. Let's see if I can get that to focus in there.
It is kind of a small text, but I've gotten used to working with it. There's also a little pen that you can use to uh, run with the screen here. It does kind of help a little bit. But we should get something back here from WX Spot. So, unfortunately, I kind of came to a stop here. So, the TNC cable, uh, I brought the DigiRig cable instead of the TNC cable for uh, the mobile link unit, uh, TNC4. So, uh, those two don't work together. And uh, I guess that's why we come out here, you know, switching packs and, you know, making sure you have everything together. But uh, we'll have to come out here another time. Uh, but it's starting to get a little chilly out here. Uh, it's not negative degrees, but uh, I am going to pack up and uh, continue this another time. KC9TMU73.